Next coming up, coming up, very funny guy, Michael Stansberry. Hi kids, I'm Michael. Looking good? Why, thank you. I showered today. I was raised in a house full of women, which greatly influenced me. By eight, they had me doing all the cleaning. By 10, they had me doing all the cooking. By 12, my cycle is synced up with all the other ladies. <laughs> I used to go to the store for my mom to get tampons, which I was prepared when my wife asked me. She was trying to freak me out. But at this point in my life, I'm not scared. I'm proud. I walk up to that register and I throw that box down as if to say, that's right, I'm getting laid. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, not this week, but I'm getting laid sometimes. I get laid, yeah. <laughs> That's badass. <laughs> so I married my high school sweetheart, which is the polite way to say I married the first girl that put out for me. Yeah, I'm that guy. It's awesome. I shouldn't complain, though, because, like, she made my junior and senior year a lot better than the first two, because, like, the first two years of high, I spent every high school Saturday night at home alone playing Mortal Kombat. Finish yourself. <laughs> Finish yourself. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> man, I have very high self-esteem in case you can't tell. So my favorite thing about my wife is that she's short. It's awesome, because she has no clue that I'm balding on top. <laughs> or that all the top shelves are filled with Playboys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Collector's editions. <laughs> My wife bought me a cat last Christmas. I love this guy. He's big, orange, long hair. Hella cool. The one thing he does that really bothers me is, okay, I'll be sitting there breaking up my weed... And that's always when he decides that it's lap time. Jumps right in my tray, and I go, fuck you, yo, and he freaks out and takes off running with my weed still in his hair. <laughs> now I've got to chase him, and I'm holding him down, and I'm repicking my crop, and he's going, oh, this is child abuse, and I'm going, no, little buddy, it is $60 an eighth, now take it like a man. <laughs> and then I smoke a fuck ton of cat hair. <laughs> Dude, it's great. Highly recommended. My dog's pissed off at me because I didn't take him out to get him drunk on his third birthday. Ha ha, math nerds laughed at the joke. Here's the deal, though. He gets real mean. And like towards the end, he starts getting real whiny. I'm a bad dog. I don't deserve a yard. You should have left me in the death camps. That's what he calls the pound. He's a bit of a drama queen. He is a 25-pound dachshund. You're picturing that shit, aren't you? My doctor, my veterinarian, says that he is half dachshund, half schnauzer. I like to say that he's half dachshund, half watermelon. I use that joke a lot. If you come to my house for one of my dinner parties, I use that joke every time. And if you want second share, you'll laugh every time. <laughs> Trust me, you will. I'm at this point in my life where, okay, like I have to rub Neosporin on his stomach because his stomach actually drags the ground. And so I know it's sad, right? And he gets these like asphalt slash carpet burns. So I just rub Neosporin on it. Everything's cool. Now, the cool part for him is if he wants to sit down, all he's got to do is kick out his legs. He's there. <laughs> right kind of drugs. It looks like he's flying. <laughs> That's awesome. So, this next one's one of my older jokes, but I, I've had kids now, and I'm kind of at a different perspective in my life. I used to come on and be like, you know, I don't need kids. I don't want them. I've got dogs. Dogs are better. Now I've had kids, and I realized that I was half right. I do want kids, I love my kid, but dogs are still better. You can't put your kid on a leash and pretend you're blind. You 
can't use cigarettes to burn ticks off of little kids. They freak out about that. <laughs> Dogs don't bitch about waiting in the car while you're running to buy a bag of weed. Of course, the upside is the kid can actually run in for you. Come on, I would not do that because every time they bring it back light, dude. I mean, seriously, do our schools even teach the metric system anymore? Jeez. You know what my dog has never done to me? He's never followed me around the house going, why, 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 why? I don't know! Oh my God! You can't put your wife in a box in the closet when she goes into labor. Blue Cross does not cover carpet cleaning. I'm Michael Stansbury. Thank you for listening to me. Have a good night, y'all. Michael Sandberry, everybody.